Hi, welcome back. Another important session. Let's see this uh, simple topic. It is basically useful for beginners. So like experienced people, uh, there is no point to continue in this video, but if you forgot and then you can try this video, otherwise it is not required. The topic is how to extend a customer from one sales area to another sales area on SAP HD ECC. Okay, so like HD01 is the transaction you are using for creation of the customer, right? So by using this transaction, how we can able to extend from one sales area to another sales area? The similar process you can able to use uh, the same sales area also for extension, okay? With a different customer number. Let's try to check this one quickly, okay? Before going ahead, if you are not yet subscribed, you can subscribe my channel. Currently, I'm holding 731 videos. Like if you are beginner, then it is 100% usable channel. You are at right place. Please go through all these videos. It's the experience I'm sharing. Still, if you wanted to learn dedicated sales and distribution module, okay, at a dedicated level. See, currently I'm holding 5,600 students and this is my SD course, 109 hours. It is going to touch 110 hours in future. So this is for real-time IDOC training. Without this, never ever try to attempt any support or implementation specific interviews. So this is must needed. It has a... A uh, lot of pain to develop this course. Five scenarios I have explained this. Okay. If you are already trying on SD module, you just try this course. And uh, this is again very, very important. If you don't know this difficult at a, at a work profile level, this course is getting mastered to write functional specification. So on real time level, I have explained. Please try to read and uh, try to do practice if you don't have a system practice also learn theory for these two courses and i have some courses on pricing and uh, this is s4 hana after 20 to 27 it is very difficult at least try to learn this master data it is very difficult okay otherwise so if you got suddenly s4 hana project i'm just providing the, these links below of this video just try to uh, get into that okay uh, those if you really wanted to have that experience to learn from real-time instructor like me okay so that's it so like you know i'm just providing these links below this description you can able to give it a try let's get into the topic let's go to sc16n okay this is the table this table also i have explained in my youtube video you can able to see this knbv okay i'm just uh, uh, trying to giving uh, zh zero one okay is the sales organization so now you can able to see this uh, all these are the three customers which is got created so let me try to take out uh like uh, probably like uh, this customer okay so like uh, if i try to enter as a direct value okay so let's remove the sales organization so if i enter this customer uh so like uh, let me try to check Oh, sorry, I forgot to copy this one. Okay, let's keep this. Let me recopy. So, 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 sorry. This, let's do ZHS01. Okay, for this sales organization, we found three customers. Let's copy this customer. Okay, let's come back. Okay, so real time also, you'll do the same thing actually. Okay, searching over the tables for the data. If you join a new project, you see in the system practice, you are creating your own elements. When you are working on the real time project, you must aware of all these tables. Okay, so now if you see this, this customer are only extended for this sales area. Okay, I would like to extend this customer for ZH02 and H2 distribution channel with the same division, probably no issues. Okay, uh, let's give a try this one. Okay. So let's come here, slash and xt01. Let me choose zh01. Okay, this is the account group. Okay, it is going to control your field selection parameters and number ranges. I need not explain again. Our topic is not that, but it is the mandatory thing. You have to select this one. So this customer, okay. So what is the customer? This is the customer. So you want in uh, like... So you take the same company code, okay? Uh, or else you do one thing. Jed has zero two. This is my sales organization. Let me take this company code, okay? No problem. So this is H two, okay? And 
and this is h h division so it is like you know you learn if you learn copy controls if you don't learn also no problem this is you think that this is source this is target okay so this above one is always target okay from where to copy reference from where i need to copy this one okay that is the see from where i am copying x to y assume that this is x area so this customer you have seen in table level it is already available in zh01 company code okay and zh01 sales organization and if you look at this and h1 okay and the division is hh okay so if you see the customer sales areas also okay it's only available in zh01 and h1 and hh okay but that is not our target the target we are copying so the source we are copying here the target we are copying here with the same account group or else most of the times it's same account group because the number is same okay so when you are trying to extend for another account group which is holding another number that means the source and uh, source and the destination customer numbers also might be different also you should be very careful with this this is for manual process okay so i think you can able to see the screen right so just simply press enter okay okay no problem so it is saying the same thing uh, so like uh, this is the sales area data shipping okay certain times if the this uh, number is different general data is different right he is uh, suppose he's he's located he's running the business uh, for receiving the stock or sending the stock and his uh, hub is at the same place he might be distributor or wholesaler so such a case like you know if any changes are there we can able to change here okay but the general, general address is same since the number is same if it is different number definitely will last the general data okay so now if you look at this everything is all right any mandatory fields also that is fine okay so now you can see this uh, the customer has been created for company code generals for the sales area with this okay so now if you check the customer sales area now it is available in both the sales areas okay so let's uh, try to suppose if i would like to open so i can open okay so like this okay now let's uh, I don't want to do it again. Okay, let's go to SE16N. Okay, KNVB. So let's give the customer name. That's the customer number. Okay, name or number sometimes. So now see this, it is available in the sales, different sales areas with the same customer number. In the similar way, you can able to do it for other number also. For example, if you'd like to create it, new customer. Okay, I'm just for knowledge I'm giving. So you're just using this one. You would like, don't give any customer then it will be created for another customer, new customer. Okay, press enter. So this case, it will ask who is he? Okay. Krishna. Krishna Mano Har. Okay, this guy. So or else it might be company name also. I'm just giving uh, for sample actually data. Okay. So this is fine. So it might his general address might be different. He might be another country also where the where we need not extend the same thing. The person say I'm just taking the reference of certain customer X. He cannot be ABC. ABC can be with different names and different addresses. That's why it's, it will ask the general data when it comes to company code data fine sales area data. Okay, depends on the country what you have chosen. Certain times it will ask about your tax. Okay, so it is asking. So he might be taxable or not. We don't know. This is just extension. That's why it is asking. So when you say this, you see this customer is got created with, with a different number. So that means you found two ways. You can try different parameters. If you are beginner, then you can only extend the sales organization with the same distribution channel division or else complete sales area is different or else your sales organization distribution channel also will be the same, but only division is different. I have already shown in a, one of my YouTube video how to extend for certain division. This is how you can able to extend this. Okay. Now, if you look here, okay, this person, you know, you already seen it is available. Okay. So let's see this one second. Close this. 
and let's try to go to the change mode change mode of the customer okay so if you come here who's a new 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 guy got created if you press enter so this with ends with nine we have created just now this is how you can able to play with the system for customer extension so you will get certain barriers certain parameters certain business situations at the time of data loads that's why if you have a bulk customer you will have a detailed plan how you can able to move the uh, master data from legacy to here certain times it is already live for certain plant the customer need to be extended for new plant plant wise also go live will be there certain cases lsmw will be helpful so that LSMW, how it works that I have already explained in my YouTube video. Probably you can able to check. Okay. So that's all for today. If you're not at subscribe, you can subscribe my channel and let me go over here. Okay. So in this 731 videos, I have done LSMW also. Okay. You can search. Probably let me try to go to this one, YouTube studio. Let me try to search here. L S M W. It is very, very important. If you are if you're supposed to work in rollout projects, you must have minimum to minimum the skill apart from your system technical knowledge. Okay. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Please go through these videos also. It will be helpful a lot in your project journey. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining the session. I wishing you all the best. Love your country. Jai Bharat. Have a great day.